All right, looking at this radar, it's really fascinating to see where it's all snow and so far all rain. That's uh, the situation around here in Rhode Island. A lot of heavy rain right now in some spots. Yeah, the storm system, our nor'easter, are still sitting well south of Nantucket okay. right now, but lifting northward. And eventually, as that happens, that colder air will start to move southward, and that rain snow line will go with it as the winds change direction. Right now, though, we're concerned about heavy rain for your morning commute. In fact, torrential downpours right now and be leading to some trouble. We've already got over two inches of rain in the rain gauge here in Richmond, as well as Cranston, Cumberland closing in on two inches of rain, an inch and a half in Tiverton, Fairhaven, about three quarters of an inch of rain coming down very heavy along 95, much of Kent County and South County, Northwest Rhode Island, all in really torrential downpours. And that has been the case up into the Boston area as well. Meanwhile, snowing very heavy wet snow, the kind that's been leading to power outages as it's now totaling a foot in parts of western Massachusetts, even into the Worcester Hills, really adding up quickly. And that rain snow line hasn't been changing much yet this morning, kind of hovering just uh, to the central Massachusetts area. But again, I expect this to drop back south and eastward starting early afternoon to see that changeover in northern Rhode Island. Right now, very heavy rain as you head out in the East Providence. It's enough to bump our threat tracker up even prior to the changeover to snowfall. It's a wet snow as it comes down. It'll continue especially early tonight with some accumulations tapering off after midnight, some slick travel possible and a windy night ahead. Those winds are still going to be active tomorrow. Any lingering snow showers winding down. So highest accumulations in the winter storm warning area for Northwest Rhode Island, Northeastern Connecticut, winter weather advisory south and east. Our storm system, as I mentioned, still sitting south and east of Nantucket, going to be lifting north towards the Cape, staying east of Cape Cod and then getting drawn closer to the coastline as it passes to the north. So 41 degrees currently in Smithfield and in Providence, still holding on to the mild air this morning. Winds sustained at around 10 to 20 miles per hour with some gusts between 30 and 45 miles per hour. We've got two bursts of wind first thing this morning and then a second area of stronger winds later this evening, especially the North Shore of Boston. They could be looking at blizzard conditions late in the day today and into this evening strongest winds over the Cape, and then we will see some stronger gusts tonight. Locally, I'm expecting the wind gusts to be more in the range of 30 to 45 miles per hour, especially this evening and tonight. Here's the hour by hour forecast. The heavy rain that we're dealing with right now will start to lift northward. We make it a little bit of a lull, especially south, south of Providence, but look what happens in the afternoon. This is around lunchtime. Temperatures are starting to drop. We're getting that mix and change over to snow. It happens first in northern in Rhode Island and then near the coastline by the end of the day. But even at three o'clock, it's still in the middle 30s. In Providence, it may be snowing, but not sticking. As the temperatures continue to cool this evening, we're likely to start to see that adding up. Again, northern Rhode Island, you're going to be seeing those heavy wet accumulations. That's where it's more significant, less snow further south and east, and then back to drier weather tomorrow. So four to seven inches in northwest Rhode Island, two to four in Providence, Kent County, south and east of Providence, about one to two inches of of snow. Let's talk about those winds. They're very gusty this morning. Mentioned that they'll be lightening up for a time in the middle of the day, only to see those winds strengthen again late afternoon and evening as they turn more north and then northwesterly. Potential for some gusts tonight as the snows are again going to be tapering off, but weighing down trees and power lines in northwest Rhode Island, getting some gusts between 30 and 45 miles per hour. So windy and cool for tomorrow. Back to milder weather for Thursday, highs close to 50. Friday for St. Patrick's Day, maybe a brief shower in the later afternoon or evening. Morning showers on Saturday, then drier and very mild.